Lots of guys, Invisible Jiu Jitsu, Shiro's back helping out again. Did a rolling toe hold today from the half guard. Um, entry wise, there's loads of different entries to toe holds. Um, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the basic principles of toe hold, what I'm looking for, no matter where the toe hold comes from. I'm also going to discuss a little bit about the toe holds you kind of see in IBJJF competition and why, you know, why sometimes they're hunting for them and why quite often they don't finish them. Okay? So, we just come away from the camera a little bit. What we're looking at is a half guard, and quite often they'll make this knee shield, they'll put the toes point in here, okay? So his toes are on my hip, so he's safe from the esteemer lock look. Do you see how he slides off the side? And he wants to be controlling my head, okay? But often, if I can clear this, or even if he's just messing around and he's not doing things properly, it's gonna allow me to turn, okay? So what I'm gonna do, Rolling toe. And there's a couple ways that we can hit this toe hold without uh, hands. Okay? So I can either pick up the toes, connect my toe hold completely, and then roll, or I can catch the toes and throw my hand through as I roll, connecting on the way through. Okay? And then what I want to do from here at the end is get on my side, trap his knee between me and him, and I want to rotate his uh, foot so that his big toe goes up his bum hole. Okay? So I'll show you some different angles. Uh, let's see where we end up. Okay, catch, roll through, trap his leg lock, catch my toe hold fully, and now I'm going to rotate here, okay? This is going to limit his ability to roll much better than if I control the leg that I'm trying to toe hold. The other thing that I want to do is, uh, can you pick up the camera and kind of move it into position? Just stand up with it. Pick it up, yeah, the whole thing. There you go. So, come around here. So what I want though is his knee on the ground between me and him. If it's on top of me, this is a very powerful position for him to straighten his leg. Okay? And I really want a bend in his leg. The closer I can get his toe to his bum, the better. And now, instead of just pushing his foot towards his bum, I must rotate it so that his foot points at his bum hole. Okay? My grip here is just generally covering the toes, but not so much that I'm only going to bend the toes or slip off. Okay? I want to be right at the end for the best leverage, and then to my wrist. I turn on my side to get the best push, and I'm going to rotate his foot. Can you see this? Okay, I'm going to rotate that foot, and I'm trying to put his big toe up his bum hole. Okay, if he tries to roll from here, because I have his other leg controlled, it's very difficult for him to roll with the toe hole now. Okay, I've got a good squeeze here. The lower I go on this leg, the easier it is for him to pull out. So I'd like to be above the knee if possible. Okay. So, catch, and I either lock up first and then roll, or throw this through and lock up on the way, okay? I'm making sure I keep this leg curled and I bring his legs with me, okay? You ready, Charlotte? Okay? If I'd landed with his knee on top of me, I'd do a shrimp and i put his knee back between us, okay? Try and straighten your leg now very difficult for him to straighten his leg. And now I'm not just folding his leg, I'm trying to turn his foot around and put it up his bum, okay? The biggest problem we see is when people do this in uh, IBJJF competition or general jiu-jitsu competition is they fail the knee bar and they switch to the toe hold. 
but I don't have really good rotational control. If he rotates now, uh, we end up turning and I go with him and eventually, eventually he corkscrews out of it. But I get an advantage and sometimes that's enough. So a lot of the time, guys are not looking to finish this toe hold, they're looking to get that advantage, okay? But if I can control the other leg and attack the one that I'm not controlling, for me that's kind of the best toe hold that I can get, okay? The best positioning. So, one last time. Just turn a little bit. So I catch, okay? Sometimes I'll catch with the thumb to begin with, but to finish, I want to take the thumbs out, just like a Kimura grip, okay? So I don't want him to straighten, and a thumbless grip is the best way to stop that. So sometimes I hold, and then just before I connect, I take my thumb out, okay? I don't do it after, because sometimes my hand blocks my thumb from coming back out, okay? Connect and roll. Oh no, the knee's on top of me. So I shrimp, and I put the knee on the floor. Leaning in, there's my good finish. So, by twisting his foot completely, and not just bringing it close to his bum, but rotating it, we're gonna attack here. Sometimes we'll take it on the knee, depending on how flexible you are, where, where you feel it, but it's just a nice little attack. So basic principles that we're gonna follow for our toe hold is bend his leg, okay? Toe, big toe up the bum hole, and uh, control the other leg with our legs, okay? Don't try and free form it, we've got to have the control of the leg, okay? The ultimate example is you see sometimes people start trying to do this from standing and they're here and they go, ah, and he just spins, ah, and he gets out, okay? I need to have that rotational control of his body. Anything that's a rotational lock needs to have rotational control of what we're locking him. So I need to stop him from rotating out of my lock. Okay, IBGF wise, quite often you see that they'll just roll and roll and roll and go out of bounds. If he goes out of bounds with the lock on, I get two points. And two points is a lot sometimes in, in high level competition. Okay, so this is how we finish it. If you like the video, like the video, come back again and watch some more. We'll see you again next time guys. Thank you very much.